In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to use the pre-cut feature in PowerDirector 17 to extract segments from video clips that you find in your media room. This has been something that users have been looking for for a long time, and now we can take a clip and we can break it into one or more segments and then use those segments as if they were independent clips in our timeline. To do that, I right click on the icon of my video clip and then I choose the pre-cut option in the pop-up menu. This takes me to a screen that is identical to the trim and multi-trim screen. If I only want a single part out of it, I can use the single trim option if I wish, where I move my marker to the place where I want the trim to start. Again, we can move frame by frame by clicking down here, or I can use the time indicator to get to the location, and then I can click on the mark in or press the left bracket key, and that will give me the start. Likewise, I can do that for the end of my clip. I can uh, click on the icon or the right bracket and I can use the mark out and that will define the clip. And when I'm done defining the, the clip on a single trim, I'll click on OK. PowerDirector will create a subfolder and then it will add that clip and call it pre-cut and name it 001 and sequentially. If I want to do this again, I'm going to delete that. And when you delete everything in the subfolder, the subfolder goes away. So we'll right click and go to pre-cut a second time. And in this case, we're going to do a multi-trim. Let's assume I want several segments out of my video. So I'll identify the first one and we'll do a mark in and mark out. And we'll identify a second one and do a similar mark in and mark out. And then I can click on the OK button. And now I have the same process, but I have in my folder now two different segments that I can use as though they were independent video clips in my project. I can right click on and change the alias, maybe call this repair one. And the other one, if I wanted to, I could call repair two. I can take either clip or both of them, put them in the timeline wherever I want them and treat them as though they were independent video clips in my project. I want to go back to the main screen in my media room. I click on the up arrow and that will take me there. And if I want to return back to the pre-cuts that are available from that clip, I click on the folder. It will move me back to where I started. So that's how you maneuver between the subfolder and main folder. But the pre-cut is nice if you have some video and you want to determine its size before you bring it into the timeline. You don't have to drop it down to the timeline and edit it there. You can edit it in the trim and multi-trim functions uh, using the pre-cut in PowerDirector 17. And we do have an additional tutorial available here on how to use all the features of trim and multi-trim if you're unfamiliar with it. Thank you.